I'd like to welcome Texas Congressman Brian Babman to the show. Congressman, thank you for being here. What is the great state of Texas? You're watching these statues come down, the rewriting of history. What do the good people of Texas have to say about that? The good people of Texas are very, very upset about seeing the continuation of lawlessness in our country. They're ready to stop it. Uh, we're getting a lot of constituent calls and, and communications that just they're very disturbed about what's happening. And uh, we, we, the, the, the anarchy we're seeing, the Democratic Party in the areas of, of cities and blue states uh, and, uh, and blue counties, uh, people are very upset that they're not, they're, not, they're not enforcing the law. And then on top of that, they're abolishing and defunding police departments. Incredible, incredible. So there are a couple of topics that are that are bubbling up. Obviously, the coronavirus is, is big and it's important to the state of Texas. And we're watching this this whole racial tension going on. What is, what is the what do you think that the 2020 Donald Trump reelection or the, the presidential election? What's the topic du jour? What's the most important topic? Oh, I think it's going to be coming out of this covid. I think it's going to be coming uh, uh, getting our, our economy stood back up. Uh, the CARES Act, which uh, we passed, and you know, even as a conservative Republican, I voted for a two trillion dollar bill uh, because this was through no fault of any American citizen. This was something that was a gift of the Communist Party of China uh, and the and the uh, uh, the World Health Organization. And uh, so here we have uh, we've gone from the best economy we've had in in, in 60 years uh, to the one of the worst in the history of our country. And uh, the Democrats just can't stand it, Eric. When we get start, we, we keep getting uh, the last two months, we've gotten a, a huge boost in job creation. And uh, I think people are willing or wanting to go back to work. Americans are workers. Uh, they, they're tired of the, of the violence. They're tired of the lockdowns. They want to go back to work. Uh, they want to be productive. And uh, we, they, they're, they're, again, they're upset when they see Democrats uh, continue to push for, for lockdowns or uh, continue to encourage anarchy, uh, and uh, I, I think that that the Democrats are willing uh, to see the economy continue to uh, to be stagnant and even worsen in order to get an upper get an upper hand on on Donald Trump's and the Republicans' re-election chances. Sad to say, but. If, if that's true, and, and, and I don't disagree with you, I'm just wondering if that's true, if the Democrats have said, you know, let's, let's stay locked down, let's make sure everyone's wearing masks, let's not reopen the economy, because some would say that that would, that would benefit Joe Biden in, in the upcoming election. Wouldn't adding more stimulus and more checks in people's hands allow people to not go back to work? Are, are, are you guys, is Congress playing right into the Democrats' hands? I don't think so, because I can tell you that me and many of my colleagues are very concerned. We, we haven't even allocated much of the funding that we've already voted for and passed the president signed into law. I do not see a need for, except in maybe some very, very targeted areas, like another PPP extension or something to help stand up small businesses, because we are having uh, some resurgent cases in uh, several states. But I, I, I don't think that I could ever vote for another stimulus package like that. Uh, and there was a lot of waste in that. And we also saw exactly the strategy of the Democrats uh, who tried to load it down with a bunch of unrelated to COVID uh, issues and, and just tried to lard it up with billions of dollars, trillions of dollars extra, uh, when uh, we knew that we, we should have specific targets. And this is what the CARES Act was primarily meant to do. All right, Again, there was some... There was some Congressman, we got to leave it there. We came up against a heartbreak. Apologize, but thank you for your time. Congressman Brian Babin from the great state of Texas. Thank you.